You talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah, okay, come on, you talking to me? How about this? You talking to me? I don't see anybody else around here, so you must be talking to me. I'll take it. That's the one. I'm so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Discord squad, we in. We just talked a lot of crap this morning and did extracurricular. But let me move myself out the way. Y'all got to read the disclaimer, YouTube. Please read the disclaimer, YouTube. And if the disclaimer is not disclaimed, get your s out of here. Get out, please. All characters and events in this show even those based on real people are entirely fictional. Entirely being the key word there. Underline, underline. All celebrity voices are impersonated, guys. They're not real. They're not the real celebrities. I'm reading the disclaimer here. Impersonated poorly, might I add. <laughs> Y'all could leave the guys and did a good job. But we'll take poorly. The following program contains coarse language. Guys, coarse language, which will have a bleep on it. So technically, YouTube edit won't have coarse language. So we can skip coarse. Following program contains bleep language. And due to its content, it should not be viewed. <laughs> well, damn it, I can't even watch it no more. We out, y'all. Hey, YouTube, we gone. I can't even watch it. It should not be viewed by anyone. Uh-uh. Um, like, like and subscribe. It helps if you want to. If not, it's okay. Watching it helps too. Um, let's get it, y'all. Hi. My little brother's trying to follow me to school again. Go home, you little dildo. Dude, don't call my brother a dildo. What's a dildo? I don't know. Carmen doesn't know either. I know what it means. What? I'm not telling you. They talk about a dildo for. That's what Kyle's little brother is, all right. <laughs> Ow. That kicks. Check this one out. Kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. <laughs> kick the baby. <laughs> Carmen? Looks like you didn't get much sleep last night. Having these bogus nightmares. I dreamt that I was lying in my bed. And then slowly my bedroom door began to open. And the next thing I remember, I was being drugged through a hallway. And I was lying on a table. And these scary aliens wanted to operate on me. Dude, visitors. Totally. <laughs> what? That wasn't a dream, Carmen. Visitors are real. Yeah, they abduct people and they mutilate cows. You're just trying to make me scared. And it's not working. Uh, children. Hey, Jeff. Today it's Salisbury steak with buttered noodles and a choice of green bean casserole or vegetable medley. That sound good. Did any of you children see the alien spaceship last night? That boy saw it. I'm not fat, I'm big bone. Oh, was it the ones with the big long heads and the black eyes? Ah. Did they give you an anal probe? Ah, what's an anal probe? They put this big metal hooper jew up your butt. Why would they do that? Dude, they did, huh? Aliens stuck stuff up. Well, I got to get to the cafeteria. You children, watch that fat boy now. He could be under alien control. He going to the cafeteria after talking about an anal probe. Sorry to hear about your God, it was just a dream. Cartman got anally probed by alien. Shut up. I'm not baby. No, Ike, go home. Kick the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Miss Crabtree. Sit down. We're running late. Why is Ike out here by himself? He's still there. Oh, don't worry about him. My parents are gonna blame me. Sit down back there! Ah, whatever, you fat b What did you say? I said I have a bad itch. Oh! I said I have a bad oh itch. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Visitors! Oh no! Stop the bus! Do you want an office referral? No! Sit down! Ah! <laughs> we have to do something! Well, we can't do anything for now. That fat b won't let us. <laughs> what did Hell you no. say? <laughs> I said that rabbits eat lettuce. He go ham on her. What am I gonna do? My little brother's been abducted by aliens. You farted. <laughs> <laughs> that always eats Somebody's the Somebody's making brownies. That's the third cow this month. This right all my cattle are gonna die before the winter's through. Cows turn themselves inside out all the time. 
People have been saying they've been seeing UFOs around. Army CIA helicopters and trucks. The silliest thing I've ever heard. What was that? That was a pigeon. <laughs> Stand here and watch my cattle get mutilated one by one. <laughs> hey, my cattle. My cattle. They out. You see? I'll get those cows back. And now, children, our friend Mr. Hat is going to tell us about Christopher Columbus. He helped the Indians win their war against Frederick Douglass, free the Hebrews from Napoleon, and discovered frames. Dad will start yelling, sort of Where's your power. brother, Kyle? Yeah. Brush and floss, Kyle! Where oh, had that finger been, been, Kyle? Been. Dude, it's... I have to go now. Oh, really, Kyle? What is it this time? Another prostate tumor? No, my little brother's been abducted by aliens. Ask Carmen. They gave him an anal probe. <laughs> Can I please be excused from class? Did you ask Mr. Hat? Mr. Hat, may I please be excused from class? No! You hear me? You go to hell and you die! <laughs> hmm, guess you'll have to take your seat, Kyle. Guess you can't talk to the students like that, man. Ah, oh, he got a job. <laughs> it's the alien anal probe. It's shooting fire from <laughs> Cartman's rectum. Eric, do you need to sit in the corner until your flaming gas is under control? I'm fine. <laughs> Talk about gas and cattle. You cows can't get on this train. This is a people train. Damn cows trying to get no, out of this. No, no, no. Don't try any of that cow hypnosis on me. All right? Cows let us go. Hold it right there, cows. Come back here. Now, lad. <laughs> How can you eat when you're farting fire? Dude, you're being totally immature. There's Wendy Testerberger. <laughs> Like her. Dan wants to kiss. Shut up, fat ass. I don't even like her. And you obviously like her because you throw up every time she talks to you. Hi, guys. Hi, Wendy. This is for you. Block you. Bye, Wendy. Dan, that was weak. Dude, what does the note say? It says she wants to meet me at Stark's Pond after school. Maybe you can kiss her. Or slip her the tongue. <laughs> what? What? How do you know she has a cat? We need to figure out how to get out of school so we can get my little brother back. How are you doing? Bad. Why bad? Bad. Chef, have you ever had something happen to you? Nobody believed you? That's a problem we've all had to face at some time or another. Let me sing you a little song. What you got, Chef? I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Lay you down by the fire. Make you moan and perspire. Chef. Those juices flowing. Chef. Chef. Love, baby. Chef. Chef. Huh? Do you feel better? No. What can be so bad? It's Salisbury Steak Day. <laughs> Visitors took Kyle's baby brother. What the hell do you think you're doing in school eating Salisbury Steak? Go find him, damn it. He thinks we're making it up. You are making it up. Oh! And we're back in. Wait, that was cool. This could mean the visitors want to communicate with us. Oh, out, I see. Out of his ass? Please, Chef. If I don't get out of school and get my little brother back from the aliens, my parents are going to disown me. Oh, you, you, you got to help the children. I want my Salisbury steak. Fire drill, this is your chance. Keep it. Thanks, Chef. Alarm. First contact with the alien visitors. I've got to get myself ready. Okay, Carmen, you can stop farting fire now. My good, you son of a b we get my little brother back? Stop going on about your little brother. It's just a dream, and I know that I am not under alien control. I love to sing a... I love to sing a... E for two. <laughs> yeah. That thing in his butt is linked up to the visitor. Son of a... It's linked to the satellite. He got a satellite in his ass. Oh. I shut up. I'm not under alien control. If you visitors can hear me, bring me back my little brother. Kyle, oh, look. No. <laughs> oh. They killed Kenny. Come back. I think Kenny's okay. Kenny? Oh. oh. He's still alive. <laughs> Cartman, they killed Kenny. He's not dead. He's dead, Cartman. Oh, rest I, in peace, damn it, I didn't have an anal probe. Kenny died the first episode? Really? Poor Ike must be so scared. Rats all alone. Even my... You gotta help me, dude. I gotta get a piece of lovin' while the getting's hot. Damn! Rat. Um, they took him away. Doing? I made you powdered donut pancake surprise. All the kids at school call me fat. Not fat. You're big boned. That's what I said. How about a nice chocolate chicken pot pie, then? 
Pretty good. That do sound good. A chocolate and chicken uh, pot pie. Uh, How they got Jesus hanging? Some cheesy poofs too. Yeah, I want cheesy poofs. Why they got him hanging up right there like that? Let's go look for the visitors now. But her note said she'd be here. Hi, Stan. <laughs> Ew. Look, could you guys just get down to business so we can go find my little brother? What happened to your little brother? More mysterious crop circle patterns are appearing in fields all around South Park. Signs. These form strange patterns. And it looks like Tom Selleck. Could it be that aliens are trying to make contact with us? No, Kitty is not prepared. Kitty's being a dildo. Then I know a certain kitty kitty who's sleeping with mommy tonight. What? Mommy. Maybe the visitors are using him as part of their plan. Should use the fat kid as bait to bring them back. Come on, Stan. Ew. Stan's still throwing hey, up. No, Kitty, you can't have any. Excuse me, Kitty. Come on, Eric. We're gonna go play at the bus stop. I can't. I don't want to spend time with my little. Don't boy. be difficult, Eric. You go out and play in the fun snow. No, you guys. I have to get home. Don't be such a freaky cat, Cartman. Oh. All you have to do is fart some more, Cartman, and the visitors are sure to come. Come on, Cartman, fart. <laughs> I don't wanna. Cartman gonna need a new asshole. I'm sick of it. It's completely amateur. Oh! Hey, it's happening again. Damn! Whoa, look at that. Cartman, there's an 80-foot satellite dish sticking out of your Sure, you guys, whatever. Cartman! Let me hook up. There's Wi-Fi on there. Hey, down here, we are ready for your wisdom. I know there's no such thing as aliens. Oh, God, here. I... I tell you, there's some crazy stuff going on in this town. You can say that again, Mr. Garrison. Thinking aliens. Go on, Kyle. Ask him for your brother back. This morning, you took my brother, Ike. But I've learned something today. That having a little brother is a pretty special thing. But if you could find it in your hearts or whatever you have to give my brother back <laughs> to me... Did it work? Nope, they're leaving. Hey, you squatty <laughs> What the f is wrong with you? You must be some kind of f it's f it's f it's f Hey, Wendy, what's a f <laughs> Is it that a work? Wait, hey! Jump down! Moo. 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 Cows of Earth. We come in. Come on, Ike! I they promise I'll be with you from now on! Moo, moo, moo. We have learned that you the most intelligent. Moo, moo. But if you turn some of us inside moo, out. Moo, moo, moo. Oh, that was Carl's moo. fault. He's new. Moo. Yeah, sorry moo. about that. My moo. bad. Ike! <laughs> moo, moo. Take this moo. advice. This is a moo. gift from us. Do your impersonation of David Caruso's career. <laughs> Farewell, moo, Kyle. Moo. Peace be with you. <laughs> Boy, am I glad to see you, Ike. Oh, she's flying at the sky. Come back! Well, Chef, where's this amazing thing you're gonna show us? It's in the bedroom, ladies. Come on in. Chef, trying to get it popping. Thanks for your help, Wendy. Whatever, dude. Hey, I didn't throw up. Let's go, Stan. <laughs> oh, sorry. A french fry. <laughs> cool. That's from like two days ago. Oh, hey, what about that? The bus will be here any minute, and Cartman still isn't around. I wonder what that thing was that the visitors gave the cows. Ha ha, cows! I love to sing a about a sky <laughs> <on> <laughs> blue or... <laughs> Oh, hey, Cartman. I had this crazy nightmare last night. Really? What about? And I had this huge satellite dish sticking out of my butt, and Scott Bale gave me pink eye. That wasn't a dream, Cartman. That really happened. Ah, son of a... <laughs> What did the aliens do to Cartman? Why did he come out with pink eye? He must have been... <laughs> How did that satellite come out of Cartman's ass? I got so many questions. Dude! Cartman! He probably had good reception, too. He could have charged, you know, that could be slick. Walk around charging people for Wi-Fi. Hook eight. I got 5G. Hold on. Bloop, 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 bloop. Shoot a satellite out your ass. Hook up real quick. Make your downloads. Come on. And then I can just roll out. That could be my new job. Gee. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, this is going to be a hard one to get on YouTube, just like Boondocks. They pulling out booties. 
The aliens get here. The first thing they want to do is anally probe us. Aliens, come on. Get to know us first. Don't go straight to the anal rectum. It's sensitive down there. <laughs> the violation. You can't just go sticking things up there. Things come out of there. They don't go up there. Unless you're in a different industry, then you see things like that. See. We about to get into the next episode. Hope. <laughs> Let me see. We about to just get into the next episode. Let it roll. Let's see what it's called. Hey, Stan. Did you see that rainbow this morning? I hate those things. What's there to hate about rainbows? You'll just be sitting there, and they'll come marching in and crawl up your leg and start biting the inside of your ass. Hey, get out of my you stupid rainbows! What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about rainbows. Rainbows are those little arches of color that show up during a rainstorm. Oh, rainbows. What were you talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget no, it. Explain, no, explain, Cartman. What marches in, crawls up your leg, nothing. and bites the inside of your- Children, remember the Save Our Fragile Planet essay that you children worked so hard on last month? One of our very own South Park students has won the national prize, Eric Cartman. What? Cartman? That's impossible. Cartman doesn't know a rainforest from a Pop-Tart. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Out of over a million papers, Eric's was chosen as the grand prize winner. What? Wow. He doesn't even know what he wrote about. My paper was on the suffering of bottlenose dolphins. Couldn't have written a paper about dolphins. Dolphins are stupid. Dude. If they're so damn smart, how come they get caught in those fishing nets all the time? That Eric's trophy will be presented to him by Kathy Lee Gifford? I don't know who Kathy Lee is, y'all. This core, drop a picture of her. This is our chance to make a name for ourselves. We're not just some pissant white bread mountain town. I could become a senator. Maybe even a state senator. Then we should have the chef of the school cafeteria sing a song. He's a black guy, isn't he? Black as the night itself, Mayor. <laughs> yes! And we can even have the children of South Park put on a little play. Kathy Lee loves children. If they're working in a sweatshop, that is. Oh! Hey. <laughs> After I'm on television, I'm gonna be totally famous. Hitler was famous too. Did y'all hear about the news? Kathy Lee Gifford is coming to South Park. The mayor just called and asked me to sing at the ceremony. Kathy Lee is a beautiful, sultry queen of sexual fantasy. Maybe I can lure her into a night of exotic delectation. Shit. Sure. <laughs> He trying to serenade her ad. Oh, I can't even concentrate on grading papers with all this excitement. Have you forgotten about all the pain and suffering that Kathy Lee Gifford caused you? That was a long time ago. And we could have won that talent show. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? <laughs> Orange, you glad? I didn't say banana. He still look old as a child. Thank you. <laughs> Why they got his hairline? <laughs> Looks like we might win. Kathy Lee Epstein. Got of mine. I'm in a pal right in a photo of two. Yeah. She went up Garrison! She went up there with two of them! It wasn't fair. She had choreography. <laughs> he looked exactly the same. He aged well. No, Mr. Hat. I couldn't kill Kathy Lee. He wildin' out. Kathy Lee Gifford be in South Park to present the award to some kid. That kid is me! Whatever. Now, little youngsters do a play about the history of South Park. Kill her! Mr. Hatt! Mr. Gillis, Kill her! I'm asking you to direct our little play. We think Cartman might have cheated. Who cares? Who's our little prize winner again? Me! How about we get in shape, huh? We want to look our best for the TV camera. I'm gonna be on TV. I'm gonna be on TV. We don't believe for a minute that you won that contest fairly, fat boy. Dolphins are way smarter than you. <laughs> if they're so smart. Why do they live in igloos? That's Eskimos. Who cares? It's all a bunch of tree-hugging hippie crap. Tell me what you wrote about. You'll go and sit in front of the TV and eat cheesy poofs, ass master. Screw you, hippie. Cartman don't even know what the hell he wrote about. Tired of the other guys getting all the chicks? Are you tired of being a 90-pound weakling? Bulk up quick with weight gain for the... the Steroids. Of saturated fat per serving, now available at stores everywhere. Beef cake. Beef May cause irreversible damage to the kidneys and liver. At least they threw that at the end. I'll get you some at the store tomorrow. May cause irreversible damage to the kidneys and liver. Guess I'll be going to the store now then.
She going to get it. Kill her. No, Mr. Hat. I won't do it. You're going in the dresser drawer, Mr. Hat. She'll make a fool of you again. Hey, dudes. What the hell is wrong oh, with you, Cartman? Beef Haven't you noticed the three feet of snow on the ground? You've got to weigh 90 pounds. I'm up to 95. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're almost as big as his mom's. <laughs> <laughs> they do look big. Weight gain 4,000 is helping me bulk up. Bulk up to what? Fat ass? <laughs> 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 Such a beefcake, I can't even get through the door. Hang up the lights, string up the banners, castrate the cows! Castrate the cows! Well, Mr. Garrison. <laughs> we were just about to run it from the top. Oh, please do! All the little Indians go to the center of the stage. Am I an Indian? Do you have a feather on your head? Yes. Then you're, you're an Indian. Indian for sure. Oh. <laughs> the feather. <laughs> Over a hundred years ago, Oot Indians lived on the land. History lesson. Then, from the east, came the great white pioneer. They did it a lot better this morning. The pioneers met with the Indians and negotiated for their fertile land. We cannot have our children beating each other it's senseless war. in front of Kathy Lee Gifford. This is how it happened in those days. This is not appropriate. To hell with Kathy Lee Gifford. <sighs> Mr. Gatterson. Uh -oh. I am dismissing you from directing our play. You got my boy. It happened again, didn't it? I can't kill her, Mr. Hat. You're gonna have to do it. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Talk about wide loads. Dang. Yeah, I'm getting in shape. Carmen, you're such a fat <laughs> When you walk down the street, people go, God damn it, that's a big fat <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 you jealous wiggling. Damn, that's a big fat ass. Hey, another hippie. Peace, Wendy. Shut up, Cartman. I'm gonna find Cartman's paper and get to the bottom of it. I need a gun. Would this be for hunting or other? Other. The lacquered black really matches your eyes. You talking to me? You talking to me? Yeah, <laughs> okay, you talking to me. how about this? You talking to me? I don't see anybody else around here, so you must be talking to me. I'll take it. That's the one. My essay by Eric Cartman. Well, Mr. Hat, she beat us in the talent show all those years ago. We owe her for that. Ba bang Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Garrison, nice gun. Thank you. Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or view of Kathy Lee? I think the book depository would be a good bet. Thank you, Officer Bar Brady. No problem. Bar Brady. And I'm looking totally whipped. Beefcake. Beefcake! Mr. Garrison! He's going to try to kill Kathy Lee Gifford! She's snitching! Just face it, I wrote a better paper than you. There's something more important right now. Let's go! I can't do it alone. Please? Stan, uh -oh. don't fall! We're losing him. Here Stan, she don't comes! Fall. Come on, you. Oh, no. They doing a JFK impersonation? That's cold, South Park. You know, you know Kathy Lee, you, you are, are a very special, special woman. woman. I mean special. How I'd love to lay you down and lick every inch. What? Kathy Lee, how oh, about you God. and me? Love. Thank it's you, Chef. Oh, oh. She annoying as hell. God bless you, Kathy Lee. Mr. Garrison is about to kill Kathy Lee. We have to find him. Is there somewhere in town where I can get a good, clear shot or view of Kathy Lee? Shot of <laughs> view. Oh, I think the book depository would be a good bet. Damn, he could be anywhere. I'll send out an APB! <laughs> I love you all. Mr. Garrison, stop! You should have won that talent show. Eric, would you please come up here? Here it is, my big moment of fame. <laughs> they lugging him up there. And then she finished <laughs> it all by throwing her voice with two dummies at once. You can't win all the time. And if you don't win, you certainly can't hold it against the person who did. Did she really throw her voice with two dummies at once? The must die! The must die! Kill Kathy Lee! Oh! oh he was already oh my dead! God. They killed Kenny! Ah, we didn't even get to do our play! Wrap it up! Hey! Wait a minute! I win environmental essay contest! You don't deserve to win! I'm holding Cartman's award winning paper, Walden, with Henry David Thoreau's name crossed out. Who cares? Yeah, Kathy Lee Gifford's gone! Hey, where are you all going? Nobody cares! Know Where's what Kathy Walden Lee? Is? Bet if Walden was a sitcom, you'd all know what it was. 
True. I don't even know what Wadden is. I never even heard of it. Thought you could get away with it, eh, Mr. Hat? You're lucky you missed Kathy Lee Gifford and that nobody got hurt. He just got ate by rats, y'all. What's going on? How the hell is Kenny still alive? He died again. We can still get her. <clears throat> I'm just so sorry that I ruined everyone's chances for being on TV. He gets to be on TV anyway. Obesity. Corpulence. Whatever word you use, it represents one thing. Being a big fat ass. <laughs> We have with us today, live via satellite, Eric Cartman. He can't even get out of his house. Cartman! He is just gonna be on the air. Follow your dreams. You can reach your ghost. I'm living proof. Beefcake. Beefcake! <gasps> How about a little more of that good loving, Chef? I just gave you sweet loving five minutes ago. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Chef got Kathy Lee! Chef! Chef done got a little bit of that sweet white nectar. It's over for Chef. It's over for Chef. He got some of the sweet white nectar. I'm <laughs> hey, why don't nobody like Kathy Lee? What did Kathy Lee do, y'all? I don't know who that is. Y'all sent me the picture of her. I don't even recall seeing her. <laughs> but why did everybody want Kathy Lee dead? She's a bitch. All right. <laughs> that simplified it. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. Dude, that movie was lit. That's why I'm watching the show, actually. But, guys, that was fun, man. Like I said, we're going to be doing these more consistent. If you're watching this on YouTube, we just watched two episodes live on Discord. We got the squad in here right now watching with me. Sign up. Come watch with me. We're watching live every day. I'm actually about to cut these off, get these edited. And about to cut this cord back on within the next few hours and watch something else. We ain't doing nothing else, so why not watch some stuff live, you know? So, hey. Till next time.